Right, the following are a list of items that you would need to um, stretch a canvas print. A hammer or a mallet, that's personal preference. A tape measure, a powerful staple gun, a pair of canvas stretching pliers, a sharp knife, a sharp pair of scissors, framing tape, your stretcher bars and a, a printed canvas. Step one, assemble the frame. A male, male and female joint, slot together, non in to glue or screw. The second step is to uh, get your frame square, or to make sure your frame is square. So you measure across diagonally and get the measurement which is 510mm and then go the opposite diagonal and get, if you get the same measurement which is 510 your frame is then square. Okay, step 3, now that we've got the frame square we're going to line it up ready to be stapled. The front of the frame has a rounded edge which keeps the canvas off the frame once it's stretched. So you want your image face down and your frame face down on the back of the image and then just pull it in at either side and get it lined up ready. And that's squared up ready to go. Right, step four, now we've got the frame and the canvas lined up, we're going to start and staple it to the frame. Just put your first staple in that side, flip your canvas round, your canvas pliers, put it tight there. Repeat the process on all four sides. Okay, so step five, we're going to show you how to fold your corners in. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. If you've got ten people who stretch canvases regular, they would um, all do it slightly different. But this is the method that we use. So if you get your finger on your right hand, just push that in there into a crease, fold it up, up there, and put a crease on them two parts there. Get your scissors, trim off the excess. What that means just basically you don't have a lot of canvas hanging in round the back. Another step in there. Fold that in there. Just fold that under. You can just pull that tight with your fingers. three other corners. Step six, now we're going to trim and tape the back of the canvas up and finish it off. So just cut back into the, the rebed there. Cut right through it. Scissors and trim the final bit off. Right, 
that's that one side done, you would repeat it for the other three sides. And that's it all trimmed up. Now ready for the tape, which just finishes it off and makes it a professional job. Do the same on the two opposite sides. Right, step seven, wedges and hanger. If you gently tap a wedge in each corner, just repeat it for the other three sides. Tight and it will go and run tight, and over a period of time it will go so just tap them back in and the tensions in. Now we're ready for the hanger. So measure the centre of the canvas. 8 inch, put that on the back, get your dented hanger, centered it up, screw it up. Have one finished stretch canvas. Drum tight, taped up, wedges in, hanging on, ready to go on the wall. <laughs>